everybody welcome to vibe star like today we welcome the sultan of string the maestro at the back of the guitar siddharth kapoor wow that's it's really nice of you thank you thank you so much sir so thank you so much for joining vibe star light and for your support oh you're most welcome i really like the endeavor you're on thank and, you uh, i hope uh, i i wish you all success in this year thank you thank you so much sir so a little about why why there is an art curation platform for all of the artists we also have an e-commerce where these artworks can be sold right okay <laughs> so to get us started sir what and who does siddhartha kodar seem to the audience and who is he really uh can you repeat the question again i missed a bit of what you asked oh, sorry yeah, sure sir so what and who does siddhartha kodar seem to the audience and who is he really oh okay that's a deep question uh who do i seem to the audience um that's a trippy one because i don't know <laughs> how i seem to the audience but uh, most likely a guitar player an instrumental guitar player because i primarily compose those kind of tunes um who am i to myself well i i consider myself as a musician more than a guitar player uh, yeah. because it's like uh, i choose to make music through the guitar so that's like my instrument of choice but if i have some other instrument i'm sure like i'll find out a way to make music out of it so yeah i'm i i think i'm a musician i'm an artist like that's how i i think i am in myself yeah absolutely sir so when and why did you start playing guitar uh why when this is some time ago okay so i was 16 this is back in 2006 yeah i started playing the guitar before that i was playing uh the piano i had a keyboard and i used to learn music on the piano and eventually i became a little good at playing the piano and then i thought maybe i should try something else i was still in school i saw my friends playing the guitar and i thought like it was really cool that uh, you know you can play this thing which looks kind of strange at first because there are no obvious notes that you can find on it but it sounds really cool um so yeah that's when i started playing the guitar and uh, Yeah, I haven't stopped since. So yeah, going good. No, uh, we are. I we absolutely love your music, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, sir, you are and always have been an avid and extremely talented guitar player who makes every single person listen and listen with a groove. So, what are your current thoughts on the situation we have and its impact on music altogether? Oh. Oh this is a trippy one isn't it so i have been um uh how do i say like it's 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 amazing how much people are adapting to the online platforms yes. right now and even more so than before because earlier it was a choice yeah but now it's like now you have to know how to use these platforms to <laughs> make music or do lessons and things like that um i think sitting at home and listening to music like that is uh, okay for some time but yeah. i think um to be able to actually stand in front of the musicians and when they are playing it mm-hmm. you i don't think you can you can replace that because there's only so much your speakers are going to be able to um you know be as close to the real performance but yeah. um uh, i i i i i hope things improve and i can go back to watching some live <laughs> events because that's what i'm really hoping for it's uh, the current situation is not good for the live situation i i really want that yes. to improve um uh secondly it's like uh, there's a little bit of uncertainty as to when these things are going to uh, improve because you know like so but when things do open up i'm guessing there'll be a lot of uh, how do you say 
a flood of work because all this while nobody was working and then suddenly if you start everything i think there'll be i think that's one hope i have like, you know if things settle down then yeah. you know like you know open up uh, that's the limited perspective that i have on this and i'm sharing it with you but uh, be honest like i don't consider myself a kind of an expert on this but that's the best i can do with what i know right now no so we really look up to you in your artwork oh man thank you so so you have performed at many events are there any that are memorable to you uh yes sure 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 so many like um many events like i i play events which are kind of like um, house party type like yes. it's been most of the events i've played at is um, where well, it's a room somebody is it's it's in somebody's house or somebody has rented out a small area and there are like max 50 to 100 people inside um good thing about that is of course um everybody is really paying attention to what i'm doing which <laughs> i really like so it puts me on a spot where okay all the things that i put effort into making finally being yes. seen and heard by some people i really like that format of um presenting my art form um so far bombay has been really good and yeah. all the people involved in that have been really generous in that uh usually like i have done so far bangalore as well and they were really really nice i really like the so far bangalore and bombay events yeah. uh, apart from this of course like in my time when i was um, uh, studying back in the uk uh, i did uh, shows over there so things have been um, uh, they they were really nice over there because the gig scene is completely different and there's yes. more gigs happening over there for independent artists and uh, it was just generally a different place the vibe was really nice to be playing for all those people over there and all the good feedback i got from the people and it's like even if you're playing in a very noisy place like a pub yeah. or something or a bar people really they, they they listen they listen when somebody is actually playing in front of them they are like listening yes yeah. so it has been really nice all these places playing in uk and then coming back and playing in india yeah so sure. <laughs> well so i saw your performance at so far bombay and ba- bangalore and your music was absolutely beautiful in that oh thank you very much yeah to me so, so earlier you mentioned like um, uh, i have i have always been in uh, i i don't know you said something like uh, i have been awesome like all the while you know there have been plenty of times where i was just struggling it's like not awesome and then yeah one day it comes i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt no, please no not at all sir so you really like you really awesome and your music is beautiful <laughs> oh thank you very much thank you so much so sir what are your fondest musical memories fondest musical memories oh so um there are times when you're going to encounter um some musical ideas Yes. from uh, your teachers or even your friends and it's like something that you didn't anticipate or like yeah. you didn't expect it and then it, it it affects you in 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 a very deep way because uh because of these people they actually were able to show me something you know without actually having to it's it's kind of difficult to explain because they they through examples and through music it's like i've um is just being involved in the music circuit with the teachers yes. and the students and and my friends you have to learn so much from these people and they're like these nuggets of information so one of my one of my fondest musical memories like um so i before i used to play the acoustic guitar right like yeah. completely full time I, i used to have a metal band this is back in 2010 yes and we used to make our original music and everything you know <laughs> and we got to um we got to play in iit delhi it was a band event and 
uh, we opened for one of my favorite bands at that time. And uh, that was amazing to be playing for Textures. I oh. don't know if you know about them, but if you have the opportunity, do check them out. Well, they are amazing. They they no long. Yeah. Uh, so you can go ahead. Okay. So um, what was I saying? Uh, so Textures was like really special for me because we, as a band, we really okay. looked up to them. And uh, at that age, like we were about twenty, getting to see your idols and like play with them, open for yes. them, that was something special and. Uh, yeah, we carry, and I say we because now me and my band are no longer together, but we are still friends and we keep in touch and uh, <laughs> we carry that uh, really fondly in our memories, you know, so yeah, definitely that one. <laughs> well, so the band that you mentioned, I have like uh, known about them. I have listened to some of the music, but I'm mostly known about them more on like Instagram and then Safari. Yeah, you're not a fanatic. You are a browser. You've been browsing, but like you haven't gotten into it. So yeah. come back to me when you actually get into it. And we can chat some more. Yeah, sure. So, so who inspires Siddhartha Buddha? Who inspires? Like, um, okay, so inspiration to me, it's like, earlier it was musicians that inspired me. Like, oh man, I want to be like, <laughs> this guitar player, like this piano player, or like, but as uh, things go on, you know, like, can you realize that inspiration can come from uh, sources other than what you're doing? So, like, if you are a poet, I guess you could be inspired by something extraordinary, beautiful, like, I don't know, a beautiful sunset or something which could trigger it's not poetry but it can drive you to poetry right it's so amazing that it drives you to write something poetic uh so similarly like when i was younger i used to look up to many rock guitar players like john petrucci from dream theater there's uh, iron maiden metallica of course these this is what i was listening to back then and yeah this is what i started to make even when i was in my you know, uh, band and everything. Um, and eventually, as I progressed, then I started to listen to more different kinds of bands and even acoustic things. So like Andy McKee and John Gorm, these people yes. then became important. But I never forgot about the, uh, the the initial guitar players, right? So I carry what I learned from them and also from John Gorm and Andy yeah. McKee. And I listen to, I like Indian classical and I like Indian music also. So I try to, like it's, it's a blend of these things that I've heard and I like to hear them. And these things inspire me. And of course, art, nature, uh, people, relationships and moments, uh, travel, adventure, all these things are inspirational. Uh, to me, not just music, because uh, yes. inspiration is everywhere. You can't be like, oh, I listen to music, I listen to that kind of music, and I will listen to only that to get myself started. No, it doesn't happen like that to me. And I think inspiration to me is from everywhere, like whatever I read, watch. Yes. Absolutely, sir. That's what I so think about it. <laughs> So what does the ideal artistic experience contain for you to enjoy? Ideal artistic and uh, inspiration. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Ideal uh, artistic? Artistic expression. experience. Uh, ideal. Oh man, I never thought about these things. <laughs> ideal artistic experience. Um, I think it has something to do with authenticity, yes. which is uh, which is always a work in progress because what you considered as really authentic, maybe some years down the line, you'll be like, oh, I have improved on it so much that 
it no longer feels that it's my work that i wasn't being authentic or something like that <laughs> but um, uh, but as long as that work was created with some sort of honesty it is going to be authentic and it's going to be a real artistic expression no matter like even if it was immature but you, i guess the person was immature back then so it will it will reflect the person's personality and um their character in the music kind of so uh, i think that is like something that i would say is like an ideal experience artistic experience yeah so so what would you define yourself as in terms of music define yourself in terms of music okay so what i am primarily doing now it's instrumental music yeah so it does not have vocals or voice or any lyrics or anything like that to it it's uh, it's purely music and the kind of feelings you, it tries to invoke can be separate for different people you know yes so i kind of give you a template on which you can have your thoughts <laughs> and they're going to be amazing you know whatever you're thinking because of the music your thoughts kind of have a canvas actually so through the music your thoughts have a canvas to kind of have a create a, a visual landscape through my music yes. so that's what i'm trying to do it's not so much as uh, music with vocals or lyrics where <laughs> there is a clear idea and once i'm telling it to you yeah you have that idea now imagine what uh the list would be you know trying to say um yes yeah, so i i think i like this kind of work where it's a yes. bit ambiguous so i kind of have a uh, listener has some work to do it's not completely like you know here's the product it's it's the it's the gap in the music that kind of i think it makes it a bit more interesting there's not there is something to be wanted in there as well Yes, absolutely sir so are you the art or the artist no i'm not the art i think <laughs> i am the artist so the question i think it is i am i the am i the water or am i the vessel so i i, <laughs> I it's it's tough because um I, i like to believe that i'm the vessel because essentially yeah. i don't know where this this funny for a second yes so um essentially i like to think that yeah i'm it's it's like i'm i'm being an um, like a how do you say receiver for creativity but not like a, i'm not the art itself so yeah yeah no I, it's it's definitely artist not the art. <laughs> so so what is the one message or piece of advice you would like to give to all of the up and coming artists and musicians out there uh resist shortcuts <laughs> um because there is going to be a lot of temptation to um because everything is so competitive now there's going to yes. be a lot of temptation to kind of um find formulas to get by and do some things quickly i mean yeah. that's okay if you are like trying to make money out of your uh <laughs> the, the the creative things you're doing uh but in your if you if it's something that you're putting your name on it and it's like you're 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 trying to be make something of your own um yeah so like try to find the authentic uh, yeah uh voice so to say yes. and the thing is it, it's going to take some time till uh, you discover so that initial period you're going to be let's just say there are going to be many voices inside yeah. the, the budding artist um <laughs> but you'll reach a point where it'll, it'll sound like none of those initial inspirations will be something original so till you get to that point don't give up and keep making art uh, practice your creativity 
not just the techniques. Yes. Techniques are obviously there, but practice being creative itself. So make something, always create something. Don't fall into the easy traps. <laughs> and I think world will be a much nicer place. Yes, absolutely. So thank you so much for that message and those inspirational words. You really inspire us and we really love your music and the field you're in. Thank you, Yudhira. I'm so glad I could do this for you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, what do you think about the white platform? White platform? Uh, well, the first time I heard from you, I didn't know what white platform was about. But then yes. I checked it out. And it seems like a platform where you curate, you're a, you're a curator yes. of a, let's say, art gallery. <laughs> and Vibe is like your art gallery. <laughs> and uh, you curate uh, art, poetry, painting, yeah. music from all around the world. And you kind of have it up on this digital, let's say, an, an art gallery, but not <laughs> just for art. So it's a complete um, experience, so like a visual, audio visual and artistic yes. uh, platform. So that's what it felt like to me. It's like, um, yeah. I'm entering an art gallery and as I scroll through, I'm walking through the art gallery looking at what each of the artists has to offer. So, yeah, that's how I imagine why being like. It's quite interesting. It's a good job for you. You'll be like, I hope you keep uh, doing this and yeah. you become really successful doing this. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Your words mean a lot to me and I'm really happy that you appreciate the Vibe platform. Most welcome. Please, please uh, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you for supporting Vibe Starlight and all of our viewers and our Vibe artists. Right. Of course. Of course. This has been a good pleasure having me uh, yeah. on this platform. And uh, I will continue to check out uh, more from your platform. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you too. See you. Bye.